hello what's up people i have not gotten on here in like 10 years i am indeed alive after my awesome you know bout of not feeling good so i am still around and i just want to hop on here and say hi to everybody and uh catch you guys up with some cool stuff you know what i'm saying so uh long story short here let's go ahead and hit this little button here sorry trying to get myself on here what's up so all right here's the deal so I came down with my little kidney infection right it took me out for like two weeks straight and because I have my endometriosis it's almost like you kind of null and void and all the pain that you have you know like it's whatever you're always in pain I wake up every day I'm in pain so you know this UTI wasn't anything because I'm always in pain so what was you know what's the big deal so anyways went ahead and you know had my little uti problem that hung around for about two weeks and you know that turned into a bladder infection and then that turned into like some some fever and then that turned into something else and you know then i was short staffed with you know megan being out of the office the last needless to say the last like three weeks has been like holy hell um it's been a good thing though because it's gotten me back involved um regardless of how i felt because i didn't really have a choice um, but it did get me back involved in basically like, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff at the office and that kind of stuff. I didn't have a choice because, you know, I had to do it. No one else is going to do my shit for me, right? So, um, but, you know, the last couple days have been super exciting. I can't wait to share this with you guys. So, basically, we um, had our little event out with uh, Mr. Harrison here. He's awesome, Ian. Um, we did our event over there, and it was one of the bodybuilding shows that we did out in Sanford. It was actually a very good turnout, great turnout. Um, the competitors did great, all that fun stuff. But um, the night before, we decided that, you know, we're going to drive out there because who the hell wants to drive to Sanford? First of all, Sanford is not Orlando. Okay, so let me just make sure that we get that clear. Okay, Orlando is like a 45-minute drive. Sanford's like a five-hour drive. Not really, but I mean, Sanford really is like like a freaking two hour drive, okay? It's like two hour and 20 minutes from like where we live, right? Which is Never Never Land. We live Never Never Land. So anyways, I like driving. I don't mind driving, okay? <laughs> so, all right, we drive out there. <laughs> Drew's on here of all people, poor Drew. So anyways, we drive all the way out there. It's a two hour drive. I'm like jamming out, throwing my sunroof, jamming out some old school 50 cent, just chilling, da, 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 you know, but we didn't get out there until like 3 a.m. So of course I am tired as hell, right? So we pull in to this hotel that we were gonna be staying at. And you know, guys, listen, at the end of the day, to be real with you guys, like I don't come for money, okay? I grew up like in the ghetto. So me being in like a, a ghetto area doesn't bother me. Um, but you know, not having clean sheets and stuff, maybe is a little, a little, a little not good. Okay. So anyways, oh, so we pull up, right. And I'm still like, you know, listening to music. He gets out and I'm thinking he's checking in. Right. So I guess that they have this thing down, like where you check in and this, like, it's like a home something sweets or some shit. Okay. This must be a place that like, you know, Let's be real. And I'm just going to be real because you guys know I like being real and I don't know any other way to be. Um, even though it's like half the time, like really horrible, like horrible things that I say. So anyways, <laughs> so he checks in and he's like, oh, I had to call. I'm like, what took you so long to check in? It took you like 20 minutes to check in. And he's like, because when you go down to the, you know, to the front desk, you actually have to like, you know, pull this like, like, I don't know, I guess like a metal thing or something. And then, you know, people come down. Peter's first day was awesome, except he didn't call me when he got off the bus. So I was pissed off about that. He tells me that his iPhone died and I'm like, okay, did you charge it last night? And then he's like, yeah, I charged it. And I'm like, okay, did you use it today? No, I didn't use it. And your iPhone died. You have an iPhone X and it died and you didn't use it for seven hours. Do you think I'm stupid? Do I look stupid? So we just had that conversation about mm, 20 minutes ago. So anyways, besides that, Peter had a great day at school. I'm excited about that. So anyways, we pull into this place. Now, granted, I'm pulling up to the front, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm sidetracked. I'm on my phone checking my emails. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. That's what I do is I work till you know, I drop dead. But anyways, so <laughs> he comes back. He's like, oh, we're in room, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So we drive around, right? And as, as we're driving around, there's like a drug deal going down, like on the side of the road, like in that parking lot with like these two trucks. I'm like, cool. So then we pull around a little bit more, you know, there's another drug deal going down. I'm like, hmm, awesome. 
So we pull around some more, yeah, pull into the parking spot. I'm like, okay. I'm like, this is okay. Let's just wrap up all our shit. Let's get the little cart. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. So <laughs> we get out of the car and there's these two chicks that walk by and they're like, you can tell they're obviously on drugs. Okay. So they must have been doing whatever, get doing whatever to get whatever for whatever, who knows. Okay. But anyways, it was quite uh, interesting. Uh, this is why it was so messed up. I'm going to tell you how it really went down because I, I don't even know how to like lie about it and it probably comes out super messed up, but whatever. So anyways, <laughs> so we, uh, we put everything on the car and we got like, I don't know, like three bags and a bunch of like hangups and shit. So, you know, we put everything in the cart, push the cart, go all the way to the third floor, get in, like, you know, he goes to open the room, opens the room. When he opens that room, guys, when I tell you, I have never, ever seen any place like this before with like stains on the sheets and like, they just, yeah, smell like cigarettes in there when you walked in. The bed didn't even have a freaking like box spring. It had two, I'm sorry, four, because if it had two, that'd be super, super messed up. But anyways, it had four little leg things. And so like literally I went down to like push down on the bed. I'm like, I don't know if this bed's going to hold your ass. <laughs> so anyways, he's like, well, do you want to go somewhere else? And I'm like, well, pfft. I don't care, dude. Just get me out of here because, I mean, at this point, I'm like, I'm tired and I'm like, I don't even care at this point. So I went to go sit on the bed and I'm like, started like looking and I'm like, uh, I don't know if this is going to be good. So I type it in, right? Like where we're like at right this very second and it looks like hell. I type it in and the first thing that comes up when you type it in in Google, the very first thing that comes up on this shit is a picture of people and their bed bug bites. And that was like my last straw. I'm like, all right, where's the next place at? I don't even care where it's at. At this point, dude, I'll sleep in the car, okay? I will sleep in the car. I have no problem sleeping in the car. So anyways, so we end up getting in the car. We had to drive another 15 minutes. 15 minutes was actually four minutes because at that point I was infuriated that I even had to get back in the car, pack all my shit back up, put it in the car, drive to the next spot, then go check in. I was so pissed off. So anyways... That was, you know, a nice little wrap up to my weekend. Other than that, you know, the weekend was good. You know, I, I don't think I've ever experienced that before. I'm going to tell you too. Like when we got out of the car, I'm like, you know, we were surrounded by like all kinds of shit. Obviously we knew it was a, not a good area when I pulled up, but I'm like, uh, I'm like, John, you should get, you should make sure you get your gun on you and everything. Cause I'm like, dude, I don't know what's going to go down. We got to be prepared for anything nowadays. You see all this crazy stuff happening in the world. So you got to make sure you're prepared. Right. So long story short, I, you know, did my work. We went out there, had a good old time, came back, whatever. The office, guys, has been super different. And the reason why it's been so different, guys, is because we have been presented with, like, this huge opportunity that I have never thought we'd even, like, stumble across. And now we're all of a sudden stumbling across this, like, very great opportunity. So if it actually does go through, I can't wait to share it with you guys. I really can't, like, because it's going to be amazing so right now we're changing the dynamic of the office a little bit and i want to make sure that everybody's on top of their game because obviously we don't have time to play around because we got a million things to do and our patients are very demanding sometimes so we have to make sure that we stay with them and they they get the top-notch service that's what we're all about at titan right so you got to make sure that all of that is in line and you know i feel like i have finally come to terms and this feels so good but i finally have come to terms to be able to finally separate like you know work and personal and even though I love my girls like I love them like love love them okay but I've come to the point where I have to be able to separate the two because if not that shit will take you out I mean it'll take you out you don't even have to be an entrepreneur to have to go through something like this you could just be a workaholic and then you work like literally you know from the beginning of the day all the way to the end of the day come home you open up your email you work and then you work until three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, you get up at six, you're only getting two hours of sleep, you do it again and again and again. Eventually you end up in a position like me and you get sick, you know? So my body was basically telling me like, hey, listen, guess what? You're done. Like whether you wanna be done or not, you're done. You're done and that's it. And I have to remember, you know, I have like, you know, all this stuff ties into like autoimmune stuff, you know? And I have everything under the planet for autoimmune stuff, like as far as like preventative medicine and injections. So I mean, I have everything, I have my fingertips on everything. So it's, it's insane, insane. Yeah, I was, uh, Josh, dude, when I tell you that like, that was a very not good experience for me, this like hotel situation. I know that I like, I had to like get it off my chest, but I was like, I was super pissed. I'm over it, but let me tell you, after driving two hours and 15 minutes, 
kind of want to, you know, lay down and maybe get some sleep at three o'clock in the morning, just a little bit. Really don't want to lay down on, you know, sheets that have stains on them. Yeah, and then, you know, have to actually lift up the freaking covers to make sure there's no bed bugs underneath. At that point, I'm like, the fact that I even have to lift up the covers right now to look to see if there's freaking bed bugs scares the shit out of me. So I am out of here. Like, I don't care. I'll sleep in my freaking trunk. I don't care. So anyways, there's a lot of things that have been happening as far as like good things with our business and good things with, you know, just everything across the board. We're so blessed. I couldn't ask for anything more. So I've been really busy and I haven't been able to actually get on here and, you know, say hi to you guys and do my little soapbox and talk about all these fun things going on in my life because I'm so freaking busy. So I just wanted to make sure I hopped on here. I'll make sure I share it on a couple different things here. So that way everybody knows that I'm not like disappeared. I just magically have like a million things to do. So the last thing I have time to do usually is to hop on this thing and, you know, tell everybody about what's going on my life I will definitely keep you guys posted on what's going on because it's it's crazy I can't wait to share it with you guys so um anyways I am feeling better okay um I need to start listening to my body a little bit more and you know listen to what's going on and what it's telling me because sometimes it's telling me like yo slow down you're enough this is enough it's enough enough you need to chill and you know because listen guys you got to think about it if you don't have your health, you can't do anything. So, you know, me being like the alpha female that I am, I have to be able to do like my own stuff. So for instance, you know, even if I have to ask John to pick up like a laundry basket for me or like, hey, can you grab this for me? Or hey, can you go do this for me? Can, can you go get this for me? Can you carry my bag? It makes me feel like less of a alpha female even though my husband is the alpha let's not let's not mistaken okay that because he's my greek alpha husband but <laughs> let me make sure i put that out there but when you're like a strong woman like me being out even for like a couple hours or not feeling like you're capable of doing what you normally do on a day-to-day -day basis it gets to you like it really gets to you it gets you down like it makes you not feel good you know like I'm trying to like stay positive about all this shit, but I feel like I'm dying, you know? And um, I just, I, I, you know, it's me. I'm, I'm stupid and I didn't listen to my body. And you know, every time I, I wake up every day in pain. So if I wake up in pain tomorrow, it's just another day. So why would I care to like go look into it? it and then obviously when I start running out, you know, 103 fever, then okay, maybe this is not just my endometriosis. Maybe it's actually a problem. So, you know, it's, it's important that you guys take care of yourselves. Please take care of yourselves. I mean, I preach it. I may not live it. I don't live it. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you because I suck at lying. But, um, yeah, I think you guys should definitely take care of yourselves. Right now, I'm taking care of myself. I hopped on my little live thing. I'm having me a little vodka cranberry. It's cranberry. So it's going to make me feel better. <laughs> but no, seriously, I'm being real with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I've had a long ass day. My days like consisted of holy hell. So in case any of you out there that have texted me or emailed me or are supposed to call you today or are supposed to call you yesterday or maybe even call you Friday or Thursday or Wednesday and I haven't called you, it's not because I don't want to call you. It's because I am super busy busy i don't think anybody really understands how busy i am i'm busy every minute of the day there's not like one three minute time frame that goes by in the day where i'm like man i don't feel that busy or what am i gonna do right now or huh maybe i should eat something hmm yeah food for thought let me grab something to eat <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'm lucky if I even take, you know, go to the bathroom, you know, or to run off and do something, get some bottle of water or whatever. So anyways, I just want to hop on here and say hi to everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Josh, I hope you're doing really, really good. Stacey, I miss you. I love you. It was good seeing you this weekend. And um, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on with Titan and all of our fun stuff that we have going on and what's coming up and, you know, all this cool stuff that I don't want to jinx. Hence the reason I'm not going to tell you guys yet. So, yep, now you're going to have to stay tuned for it, and I promise you I'll share with you guys what's going on, um, but I will say that after, we should document it, to be honest with you, but after the first, it's been like, what, we're like four weeks into this venture of ours, it's going to tie in with Titan, it's stressful, mm -mm. stressful, so anyways, 
Don't book yourselves at crack hotels. Never a good thing. Make sure you take care of your body. Listen to what it's telling you because it's not lying to you. So if it tells you to slow down and take a nap, then go get some sleep. And make sure you always put your family first. Okay, those are my three top things I wanted to tell you guys. My three top tips of the week. Rest of the, the rest of it's, you know, long gone. So anybody that I need to contact, I will be contacting you. Okay, ah, sending my love to all of you out there. And I hope everybody's having an amazing night. Um, what up, Tommy? I hope you're feeling good and everything's good. Hi, cousin. What's up, Savita? So I want to make sure that I hopped on here and said that to you guys because I didn't want you guys to think I magically disappeared or I don't care because that's not the, that's not the problem or the issue. Okay. Just magically am slightly, you know, short staffed at Titan Medical Center with one of my main people being out. So, you know, she's still not feeling good, Megan. So, you know, we're, we're pulling together as a team and, you know, right now we're also expanding. So to grow and have to hire on and, you know. Uh, it just, it goes from there. But anyways, I am definitely going to keep you guys up to date. I'm going to post out um, for you guys, like what we're hiring for. So I can have all of you guys share it to all of your good friends. Please make sure that they're competent and they know English and they can speak proper English, write proper English, read proof, an email, um, count from one to 10 and say their alphabet. I don't think I'm asking for much. Common sense, can't teach them that one. Either you got it or you don't. And if you don't, well, <laughs> yeah, it's not good for you. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here because uh, I'm busy. Got to go. See ya.